In this video we are going to look at different ways of animating text. We select the text tool, the shortcut for which is T and click on the stage to type a text. We type the word animation. We can choose any size and color for the text. We scale the text up using the scale and rotate tool, the shortcut is Ctrl Alt S. We press the F8 key to convert the text into a symbol and name it text. We enter the symbol and select the text and press Ctrl V to break it. We select each alphabet and convert it into a symbol using F8. We come out of the symbol and extend the timeline till 4 seconds. That'll be 100 frames because we're working on a frame rate of 25 frames per second. We add a new layer and draw a rectangle on it using the rectangle tool. We delete the outlines, select the fill, go to the color palette and choose linear gradient from the menu. Please see the video and follow. We add a bucket in the middle and keep the alpha of the buckets on the left and right is zero. We select the shape and convert it into a symbol using F8. We name it Shine. Please see the video and follow. We right click on the Shine layer and select Add Classic Motion Guide from the menu. On the guide layer we draw a line using the line tool, the shortcut is N. We curve the line as done in the video using the selection tool. We can also use the sub selection tool to curve the line. On the first keyframe we place the shine symbol on the left corner of the line. Make sure that the snap to object tool is on. Using the free transform tool, we stretch the shine symbol. Please see the video. We add a keyframes on frames 20 and 30 using F6. On frame 30, we move the shine symbol on the top of the curve and rotate it using the free transform tool and again stretch it so that it covers the text. We add a keyframe on frame 40 and place the shine symbol on the end of the curve and rotate it as seen in the video. We select the frames in between, right click and add classic tween from the menu. We add a new layer and select the text layer frame and drag it to the new layer so that the symbol gets copied to the new layer. Please follow the video. We move the shine layer up so that it is just below the new layer. We right click on the new layer and select mask from the menu. We enter the main text symbol, we select all the symbols, right click and select distribute to layers from the menu. We add keyframes on frames 15 and frame 21 on all the layers, please see the video. On frame 21 we select all the symbols and scale them up to 120 using the scale and rotate tool. While all the symbols are selected, we go to the properties tab in the color effects and select alpha option. We bring the alpha value down to zero of all the symbols. We now select the end layer animation and move it forward by two to three frames. Please see the video carefully. We do this on all the layers. We come out of the symbol and add a keyframe on frame 50 on text and the mask layer. On this keyframe we select the symbol and on the properties tab in the looping option we click on the play once button. On the first keyframe we again select the symbol and click on the play single frame button from the looping option. We export to SWF using Ctrl plus enter to preview our animation.